But now I have to try and get back down these stairs and they are so ropey, like bad. Today we're going to visit an abandoned manor house in Ireland that dates back to the 1600s. The original building was burnt down during one of the Irish rebellions and rebuilt. It was passed down through the same family for 200 years before it became an Irish language school shortly before the Second World War. In the 1980s it came back into private ownership and it seems to be vacant now since 2016. The architecture in this building isn't like anything else that I've ever seen in Ireland. There's a lot of French and Italian influence in its architecture and homes like this in Ireland are very few and far between. So I'm on ahead and we'll find out what's been left behind inside. Through here we have some cars and tractors. I see a vintage car over there. I'm not sure what type it is. There's a wee A-class Merc, the ugliest car I've ever seen in my life. So that's the back. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up very well, but there's a whole car just buried in there. There's so much stuff still hanging up in the walls. Like the certificates and stuff. So it seems like the back half of the house is letting in a lot of water. And then the front half of the house is kind of sound. This must have just been like a laundry room. There's all these different cubicles and stuff. I would imagine they had a lot of laundry. And then there's into this kitchen, which is half filled down. I actually have the same key ring on my car keys. Mental. It's a very old fashioned island and it feels like it's made out of cardboard. It's pure hollow and they aren't even tiles. It's literally cardboard. What's right there? So I need to check this out and try not get killed by a roof. Oh, look at all these wee utensils and stuff lying about. Some sort of back hall. Ugh, cobwebs! Ugh, nothing makes my skin crawl more than when you walk through a cobweb and it like drags along your face. Now, what is in there? with the bedroom. There's a bedroom. 
quite a small one for such a big house too. But I'm nearly sure that this would have been like a different sort of section of the house, like maybe maids or something were living in here. Look at the size of that photo. There's so much artwork around here. Love it. Very appropriate photo to have in your bathroom, pigs. <laughs> I would have put that in my kitchen if it was me personally, but sure it's fine. Some sort of dining room, kitchen area. Loads of timber still stacked, ready to go in this fire. That must be, must be a side door. Ah, so this is the bottom of the tower. There's another door to get in there. And then this curved wall is, you know, the castle tower. So much random stuff. Christmas decorations hanging up. That happens so often in houses that I'm visiting lately. So it's always somewhere with this green colored wall and it's always Christmas decorations. That's all I'm seeing lately. Very small little kitchen. I think this was maybe like a, what do they call them? Granny apartments, is it? Except it was attached to the house. Probably a conversion from the original maid's quarters. So many coats and hats and all sorts hanging up. But yeah, this back bit beyond the kitchen isn't in the worst, or isn't in the best condition, I was meant to say. Oh my god, look at what I have to climb back through. Fuck. More coats and stuff. It's all like elderly people clothes, which I don't know. I'm kind of thinking there was an elderly couple. Love seeing all the old photos. Nineteen thirty, that one's from. And there's just so many of them hanging up. The amount of stuff left in here is just beyond belief and it's just like the most random stuff that I've ever seen in my life clearly like to drink though clearly again all the plates sitting up fireplaces stacked nicely and a lot of religious artwork Love the wallpaper in here. You would nearly actually think that this is a design in the wallpaper, but it's like black mold or something, so we should probably probably vacate and move on to the next room.
crazy amount of photos. Old record player. I love a record player. Some huge flag. Oh, caricature. That's funky. There's just so much stuff I'm like struggling to actually take it all in, which is why I'm not like stopping and showing you everything because there's so fucking much. See, I think it was a hotel or some sort of like business. Because there's a lot of like industrial cooking stuff. There's like all the alcohol and stuff, obviously. <coughs> I'm going to have to try and figure out actually what this last was so then just out here it's star of the show time what the fuck Wow. Look at the tie. Wow. It's not often you see a staircase is like wide and grand. It's also very shallow. Like the steps aren't terribly high at Julie all. Julie over at Low Bikes found out on her research that this used to be an outdoor courtyard, which explains the archways and the concrete steps, and they built the glass skylight over it at a later date. Go and look at the detail. The marble columns. There's just so much stuff everywhere. Can't believe it. So if we, wait, we'll actually look at these. So, Mindo was saying there's a lot of deers and like antler stuff lying everywhere. And then around the other side, this is a nice unit. The other side we have more. So huge antlers, some sort of terrible plaque. It weighed like the weight of a feather. Kind of tacky. There was a unit there and it's facing the wall for some reason. The gents' bathrooms and another deer. Another two. I think that's gazelle antlers behind it. 
and another. Man, there's so much antlers in this one room. The Taj Mahal. Look at the size of these arches. Which takes us into the general's room. Some more. Oh, that one started to like decay. I don't think they're supposed to do that. We courtyard. And that's going to take us through to the front hall. But this must be some sort of library room. Like, wow. There's a lot of like glass display cabinets and stuff here. So it definitely had stuff on show one time, people were coming here, maybe it was some sort of hunting lodge. Above this door we have a wedding photograph. Look at the detail in this glass. So much alcohol everywhere. Tonic water. What the fuck has that came off? Is that a big bird claw? Imagine the size of the thing. Yeah? This mirror is massive. Goat's head up there. And we have some pheasants. I think that's a ferret in the corner. More ferrets everywhere. We alligator. And then I'm nearly sure that this was intact, like, like honestly not that long ago. Some lightings. What? Oh yeah. So he is going up the spiral staircase. It's just in the corner of this room. But I think this might have been like some sort of bar storage or drink room. So this is the sergeant's room and that must be his photo over at the over at the door. 
The ceilings are very high in here. So this room is covered and stuff. Like all over the walls. Wow. Yeah? So this room in here has like completely collapsed. Look at that bath. And then this bedroom has the big four post bed. Exercise bike. There's like four or five like formal dresses in there. Mental. All these fancy like lampshades and stuff. So this is the floor that I'm trying to make my way over and if you remember from downstairs this is the one that's being held up by like the scaffolding but we need to try and get to this staircase. That first bedroom with the four post bed is in here. This leads us into a little ensuite of theirs. Huge, huge painting. So this takes us in past all these weird like doll portraits. Takes us into the other master bedroom. It's so strange to get like an insight into people's books. Like Bill Clinton. Not a book I would ever pick to read, but like somebody else did. craziness it's a shame it's so trashed like I hate houses that are wrecked but it's just like the size of it is really getting to me another fancy dress
So this is the view of a very small section of the building. But there's like lots of building to, to see. More records. They must have had about fucking 20 record players in this one house. Give a wee scorekeeper. So these are saying that the owner of the house is requesting your company at an Edwardian evening. In 1986? This place can't be empty since 1986. So we're up on the third floor and the floors up here are making me pretty scared. They're just not the best now. The rooms up here are all pretty empty. I think that door's locked, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's locked. So we have a lot of these like beams trying to hold the roof up. Because the place is dying to fall down, literally. I can't believe the size of it. I've been visiting so many places lately that have this colour of green on the walls. And then the floors here make me extra nervous. I'm actually going to go down to the ground floor and join everyone else. This door's locked, so we're not going to get in. I have to try and get back down these stairs and they are so ropey. Like, bad, bad. Ay, 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 ay. Fuck. I keep forgetting that I'm videoing and then like going on a mission to get across somewhere. I actually lost a wide angle end somewhere. And I'm hoping it's around here because it's the last place I've seen it. There it is. Nice. Knew it was over there.
such a unique main hall and it's not even like its location in the house is very weird as well like normally it's near the front door but nowhere near it absolutely mighty off I put my wide angle in my pocket and I can't find it Oh my god, if I drop this one more time, let me just wipe it off, put it on use. That's better. And there goes my phone now. Fuck. Bit of a disastrous few minutes there. So this floor on this side isn't that bad. I think we will head down. Very dark. And another very dark room. Let me get my torch. There is a lot of deers and antlers, countless books, rugby balls, oh there's a bed in here. Yeah these are given some sort of like accommodation like, I don't know, I can't put my finger on what the place was. Like each room has their own stuff, so I'm assuming people came here and stayed for a while. Maybe some sort of retreat or something. It's not really hotel -y though. Take the white ends off. Another bed, this looks maybe like that was for the Irish World Cup. Can't believe they might have clothes and stuff. So here we have another bedroom and the lighting in here isn't great and I don't have like my big proper torch so apologies about this room it is very dark but there's a lot of stuff here and I really like the wallpaper I can't remember where I've been recently that had like a green variant of that wallpaper so much diluting, whatever that's about. King Edward mild tobacco. So they had we, oh, so that was the compartment for the shutters, but they're using them as some sort of like storage area. How creepy is all the religious photos? Oh, 
what year is this from? Thursday, February. February when? Dun, dun, dun. Doesn't say. Most Holy Mother. So then that takes us into like a walk in wardrobe, and this thing is jammed with every item of clothing that you could think of a million buttons. Perfume shop. Oh, and this cool wee ensuite that doesn't quite reach the roof. Like it's just a wee cubicle. 2018, this is from. So it's not too long, folks, and the whole house is on its last legs. Some stairs past the clothing reel. Can't believe the size of this place, even. Like, you would get lost really easily. Mop the girl. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and share it with a friend if you enjoyed. Bonus content over on Instagram and TikTok.